Hey guys, what's going on? This is Alex over here at My Freedom Smokes, and today we're going to be talking about a new little all-in-one starter kit we've gotten in. It's the Segeli Compact F1. This is actually a pretty cool little device. Um, it's a lot heavier than it looks. Uh, a lot of these units seem to be pretty lightweight, um, but this is really durable feeling. Uh, the construction on the outside doesn't feel like you can easily crush it, which is a good thing because this is a squeeze to activate unit. Uh, it's got a 2000 mAh battery in it and the tank holds about 2 mils of liquid. And I haven't really been able to see just how long the battery life is going to last, but I do know that it does charge very quick. Um, I did start using this and the battery died on me, but I threw it on the charger and I don't have an exact time, but I do remember looking at it and going, oh wow, it's actually fully charged again and it's been pumping for me ever since. Uh, you do have a 0.3 ohm coil in here, and the way you access these is just simply popping out your tank like so, and you're just going to flip it over, and you're going to unscrew your base like so. In which that will give you access to your replacement coil, and that unscrews from this base here, and then when you put the new one in, you simply go in reverse and pop it right back in like so. Filling it's just as easy. Uh, you just want to go from it from the top instead of the bottom. You're just going to grab by the drip tip and it's going to come off just like that. You're going to fill it up around the sides, pop the cap back on, and if it's a new coil of course let it sit for about five minutes before you try to use it. And in case uh, you wind up getting any sort of spit back, which essentially that's just excess liquid sitting inside your coil, just get your tank, just give it a quick little shake out. That's all you really need to do. Because if it's going to pop in your mouth, it can easily just fly right out the tip by doing that. And the tank is held in by a magnet. So when you put it in, it's going to almost kind of like pop it right in like so. And as you can't tell, you get a really good cloud production, and the flavor on this is really good too. Uh, what I do like about this unit is that it's not just one solid piece of metal. Um, you do have a nice little rubberized grip on the side here, and the side in which that uh, you press in is slightly rubberized too, but not quite as much as the flip side. Your battery meter is also going to be where you squeeze uh, the mod to activate it. Right now we're at full battery life, so everything is all green. As it slowly starts depleting, your, the lights are just slowly going to go down, and when you're all out of battery, it's just going to flash red on you, and that means you got to throw it on the charger. Which, they really didn't include too much in the box, which is why I really didn't kind of go into it at all, because all you get is the unit, the replacement coil, and your micro USB. So you're going to get your USB and simply just pop it in right on the side here, right on the bottom. Now one thing this does actually take note in is even though this is technically a pass-through um, style mod, which means you don't take the battery out to put in and turn an external charger, it does make note that you cannot charge this while vaping at the same time. Um, now, this really is the only gripe I have with the unit, um, simply because I do like being able to charge and vape at the same time. It's kind of like using your phone while it charges at the same time. It's, it just makes sense, you know, if you're by your charger and you still want to use your device, you should be able to charge it and use it at the same time. Um, now, there are certain um, issues that people have uh, when it comes to safety on that, uh, but honestly, there's not been too many cases in which that's ever really been an issue, at least to my knowledge. And with all the overheating and safety precautions that are kind of built in with these mods nowadays, you're really hard pressed to find a lot of those same issues that were cropping up even a couple years ago. So I feel like we're okay to charge and vape at the same time now. So, so Gally, get on that. Uh, if it wasn't for that, I would really say this is a really worthwhile unit. Um, this is especially good if you're going to be traveling because of the 200 mAh battery and the 2 mil tank. Uh, you're not going to be refilling it all the time and hopefully you won't have to be charging it all the time. Shh. 
One of the hidden uh, little fun things about this is the fact that these are just simply magnetized tanks. So just like any of your other mods, you can pre-fill these with a bunch of your different liquids and just swap it out, easy change on the go. So I would say that this is really gonna uh, cater to folks that are really looking for an easy to use, on the go travel kind of mod. Uh, or something just maybe a little low profile around the house. Uh, so out of 10, I would give this one a solid seven and a half. Uh, mainly for that USB pass-through charging. I like being able to charge while I vape, so that's an issue for me, but if you don't really see the need for that at all, there's really no cons I could give you. Uh, this is just a good, solid, all-around unit. And if you have any questions about this, just feel free to leave a comment below, and make sure and follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. And until next time, thank you for vaping.